Hi, it's Tessa, and I just got in the car, and we are headed to Benazet, Pennsylvania to see the elk today. I'm going to try to vlog our trip a little bit because it's so beautiful. The leaves are changing, and, um, you know, it, it's a beautiful fall day. It's supposed to be 75 degrees today, so I'm going to try and vlog our trip, and I don't have a camera holder. I broke mine this morning trying to take it off, so I can't even film videos at the house until I get one fixed or find a new one. So, yeah, going to see the elk. It is quarter to 11 in the morning. It's a two-hour drive, so we'll be there right after lunch. Hopefully, we'll get some elk pictures and video, and you'll be able to share that day with me. So, come along for the ride, and I hope to check in um, several times today. All right, thanks. So, we're on the road now. We're about an hour from where we need to be. I don't know if you can pick up on how just beautiful the fall colors and foliage is. Hopefully the next time I'm filming there'll be elk. We headed up the mountain fun. now. This goes to the Elk Visitor Center where we have not seen an elk yet and we've been here like an hour. So we'll see thousands of crazy people trying to look for yes. elk. The elk paparazzi will be out in full force today, people. No doubt about that. Here we are. Here is the elk. Visitor Center sign. The elk on top. Last year when we came here, there was an elk right there. Now we thought they just moved there for appearance sake, but since she's not here this year, it must not be the case. So we're headed up the hill. Let's see if I can get where the dash ain't showing. It's like you drive all this way and you want to see at least one. One bull. It's big horns. Lovely day. Beautiful trees. Look at that gorgeousness. The fall. Foliage, <laughs> not foliage. The visitor center is really nice, but it'll be super crowded. We're not going in. We're just looking for elk. There's some viewing areas up here too. But we stopped at a different um, gift shop today that was really nice, and we got our stuff there, like t-shirts and stuff, so we don't have to go in the visitor center this year. Look how crazy. They're lined up way over here. Like, it's insane. Okay. Yeah. Whoop. What are you doing? There's a visitor center amongst all the crowd of people. Last year we had good luck on this road, but this year may prove to be a disaster. But we're going to scout it out and see what we can find because you never know. The butt end of the elk. Sorry, I can't get any closer. Let me zoom in. Yeah, their heads aren't up. So we can't see them. There we go. There's some elk. My husband thought they were fake. Turn the car on. All right. There's a whole bunch of turkey up there, but I don't know if we can see them without it getting too blurry. And we're on Porcupine Road. And we're on Porcupine Road. Here comes a car, Eric. Hi, it's me. So the elk hunting expedition that we're on isn't really going that well. Um, we saw one bull, no, not a bull, <laughs> a mummy and her baby. But other than that, we saw like a flock of like 25 turkey and nothing else. So it's getting to be like quarter till five and they're saying that in the evening they come out more, but I don't know. We're going to keep looking. We're on state game lens now, so it's usually a prime place. I cut this high of my husband's head. He'll like being in my video whenever it comes up. They're pretty through the woods here. I don't want to make you like sick. Maybe if I go this way. Backwards. Try 
traffic is bumper to bumper up here. So it's likely there's an elk sighting. I feel like we're looking for Bigfoot or something. Bumper to bumper traffic. Did you pull off here and walk down? Or ride past? Just ride past. All over these poor people's camp site. Oh. There we have the elk. I can't see behind the tree. Park and walk over. Yeah. This is a state game has parking, right? Yep. I think we're okay here. Yeah, just pull right in. Oh, well, there's more than one. There they are. There's a mother and a young one feeding. But this road's very dry and dusty. This is really going to be hard to piece all these videos together. So we're totally just as fascinated by the elk as we are the people upon people upon people. And it's really hard to capture on film just how insane <laughs> this place really is, but it's truly insane. Yeah, we're some of the people too. And so. we're, yeah, we're some of the crazy people, but still, it's just fascinating. We're like at a standstill because there's no way we're going to be able to park down here, but that's okay. We can do an elk hunting drive. Insane in the membrane. So there's like, what? 150 cars here and guess how many elk there are here. That's right none So yeah We're blowing this popsicle stand, but apparently everybody else is camping in for the night because they have chairs and tailgate parties and food and They're double parked. They're not ever getting out of here again We are double parked. Aren't yeah, we? I can't stand this cluster of people Ugh. Poor elk It's really bad This place is crazy. We're getting out while the getting's good because we'll never be able to get home if we don't leave now. I think they're showing up for fireworks or something. <laughs> this, my oh. friends, is the Elk Paparazzi at its finest. Look at it. It's like... Where are they all going to park then? It's Nowhere like to the 4th of July on the back road. I mean, literally, people, this road is barely wide enough for two cars, and look at it. 